Have you ever felt like your life was full of pain and sorrow? We've all been there. Today I want to share with you a quick story from the Bible, and it's the story of Jabez. Now, I want to start with saying that this is from the book of Chronicles, and I also want to say that this was inspired to me when I heard a message from Chuck Swindoll, who I think is a wonderful pastor. So Chuck Swindoll tells this story that's from the Bible about this boy named Jabez. And Jabez was born unto his mother, and it says in the Bible that he was born unto sorrow unto her. And the literal translation of the name Jabez means pain and anguish. And I know that some of you have lived in a life that has been surrounded by pain and anguish. Now the thing that's so impressive to me is that this is in a particular part of Chronicles where they are listing a heritage. It's a series of names after names after names and it quite frankly is kind of boring. It's not, it's not important, it's inspired by God, but it's rather boring. But then we get to Jabez, and it says the following. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called him Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest blessed me indeed, and enlarge my coast and that thine hand might be with me, and that thou wouldest keepeth me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. I want to share this with you today, because in this list of lineage, we had one person that was set aside. We had two whole verses on the subject of Jabez. First and foremost, he comes from anguish. I don't know what that literally means, if that literally means it's anguish from the act of birth, or if it means that mother, this might have been the last child in line, and it's one more mouth to feed, and who knows, maybe the father died of war, he might have abandoned her. But what we can be sure of is that the story of this birth was not a pleasant one, it was a painful one. What we can also be sure of is that Jabez called upon the Lord God and asked if he would bless him indeed, which is in a big way. And if he would expand his coast so that he might be kept from evil and that he may not grieve me. And God granted him which he requested. That's the important thing I want to bring to your attention today is that God grants requests. Have you asked something big of God lately? Because no matter what your anguish of the past may be, it doesn't predicate your future.